Hello everyone, it's Isabella here and welcome back to the channel. So today's video, we have another deep dive coming to you today. So you guys do or don't know, maybe you've heard the news, maybe you've been kind of curious about it. The company that is a multi-level marketing called Pure Romance, the sexual health and wellness company, is apparently shutting down their MLM side or they're going to Omni Marketing. There's a lot of information that's out there right now and some people are really confused. Is the company an MLM or not? Very sad to tell you that the company is still an MLM. There's a lot of false ever going on. So I want to break down the entire company fully, take a moment to do a full deep dive on it, what's good about it, what's bad, and give you guys a good idea of if this is a company we're joining, if it's not, are they actually making good changes, and so much more. So before we hop into today's video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell button down below. And without further ado, let's get into it. Pure Romance. Many of you guys have seen this before. And real quickly, I want to get this a very big disclaimer out of the way. I am someone, I'm very adamant about sexual wellness, talking about this, and just being open and breaking the stigmas about sexual health and wellness. Sex is a very normal thing and we should not be shaming people. And I would like to be very clear and say that I am not here to shame anyone and I'm not gonna tolerate people being shamey or icky in the comment section. We're here to talk about the company, educate, and overall have a safe space to discuss this. And a company like Pure Romance is honestly really fascinating. I personally work with a lot of sex toy and sexual wellness companies and I love it. I love the idea and I think it's really good to break stigmas. However, there's a lot of problematic things connected with Pure Romance. So all of my Disclaimers, let's get this out of the way. If you guys want to learn all about the entire company from the income disclosure statement, compensation plan, and so much more, there's timestamps. So if you're here brand new, try to learn about it and need to hit a specific point, click on the timestamp so that way you can jump directly to what you need to know and refer back if you're showing someone this video. If you are one of my regular viewers and you already know about multi-level marketing companies and why I don't like them, skip on over to the next timestamp and we can get rolling. If you have no idea about MLMs though, stay tuned because we're going to talk about all the information. I am someone that likes to show evidence and data to prove that multi-level marketing companies are not worth your time and are a huge waste of money. And so if you have no idea why I don't like MLMs and the data behind it, then let's get into it. So according to the FTC, 99.6% of participants make nothing or lose money, which is a very, very sad statistic. Now that can really fluctuate depending on the company. So that could be around like the 90% number. Either way, majority of participants don't make anything, which is a big alarming thing. Here's my chart to actually show you that most people who join other things, for example, or start other things, I far more profitable profitable than people in MLMs. A no product based pyramid scheme is even more profitable. Not saying you should do that. I'm just saying that's pretty alarming when gambling has a higher chance of making you money. Not recommending that either, but that's a problem. Starting your own business, getting a different job. Those are things that have more chances of making money than an MLM. So why is it that this is such a broad thing that's been pushed? But what's really sad is a lot of people don't know about it. And this is something that is heavily pushed to many people. So there's people that are everyday individuals who want to have a side hustle and want to make extra money are being falsely advertised to about the income earning potential of these companies. So let's talk about the products and what they have to offer because I really like looking in and seeing if this is good marketable product. Again, MLM aside, I like talking about this to see if this is actually worth your time or while. So again, as someone who is and at full transparency here, I have no shame as a self-proclaimed sex toy connoisseur myself that has um, a bit of a vault in my own house. I can tell you I have got I have tried many different brands. I work with different toy companies and so much more. So I have browsed many a stores, okay? I have seen it, I have been there, I've tested it out. And so going through this entire website, they talk about how they offer many different things. They have like oils, lubes, they have sex toys. They have essentially, they're acting as if they have something for everyone. So for me looking through a sex toy shop, I really like looking at inclusivity and making sure that it is good for everyone, right? Because I think if you're going to have a sex toy shop, you should have something that is definitely inclusive of all people. And something that I actually notice when it comes to the products is there's a, there, I don't think the one, there's a wide range of products, which seems a little iffy to me, but I feel like there's a lot of restriction. One, I noticed that there's a lot of products and toys specifically for people who have vaginas and that's kind of it. And I just don't understand why there's not more inclusivity because again, every person with different body parts can have fun and should have fun things to try out and use. And I personally, as someone who has gone across many different stores, have seen tons of different places like love honey that have had really great items for many 
many, many different people. Additionally, too, this is something that kind of rubbed me wrong as well, is there's not a lot of stuff that kind of expands into testing out the waters and different things when it comes to sex in general. If you're someone that wants to kind of try more things, then you're probably not going to find that here. And for me, when I think of having something or selling an item or having a sex shop, I would think of something that is inclusive of all different people and all things that you're interested in that could be safe for everyone. And I just don't see that type of inclusivity, which is a huge red flag for me. Not to say that the items that they don't have are good. I'm sure that they are good, but I don't think that there's a wide enough range at all for people. And that I think should be a red flag. MLM aside, if you're wanting to to work with this company, I do not recommend it in any way because there's not enough types of products for everyone. I've come across many different companies that have a broad range of whatever you can think of, whatever your fun little mind can go to, they've got it. So I'm just saying pure romance is lacking in the romance department, okay? The pricing is not bad at all. I've actually seen the pricing very similar to many other toys and I've dropped some good money on toys. So the pricing is really not like a big red flag to me. It's just the lack of actual inclusivity. I just, I feel like if you wanna really venture off, you're not going to find that here. I'm just telling you right now. And honestly, I think it should tell you a lot when you would have better luck at going to the back of a fucking Spencer's than shopping with Pure Romance. I know damn well I'm going to find a decent amount of things that I'm looking for. When they have a wider range at Spencer's than Pure Romance, I think that's a red flag. So now that we cover the products, let's talk about if you're still interested in joining, how to join the company. Now, a lot of you guys are like, wait a minute. They talked about moving away from MLM, but they're still in MLM. They're going to Omni Marketing. What does that mean? Omni marketing is essentially saying they want to have multiple avenues and ways of making sales. That can include things like promoting things on social media, having the multi-level marketing aspect and so much more. It's still accessible. It's a little, in my opinion, a way of trying to act like, oh my God, the MLMs are so bad. So we're going to claim that we're really not an MLM and we're going to kind of put a new label on it. We have seen far too many times where MLM companies have put brand new labels on things to give it a fresh look. So that way people that are everyday individuals who don't know about multi-level marketing companies, they don't know when they join still. And that is a huge problem. Okay. Omni marketing is a marketing way. Many companies operate under Omni marketing and aren't MLMs. But from what I'm seeing now, Pure Romance is still an MLM, but it's one of the several sales avenues that they are approaching to make income. Now, real quickly with the Omni marketing, something I want to talk about that I think is a very important discussion that we need to have is how the Omni marketing is negatively impacting consultants. When it comes to multi-level marketing companies, we usually see people who are inside of the company are the main way and sales avenue for people to purchase the products. Most of the time, you only can purchase a product through an MLM, either through the direct website, but most of the time it's through an actual consultant. And so it's very similar to beauty counters. So when we open up the gateways for anyone to purchase the products anywhere, it makes it to where the consultants are really not as needed. And that actually negatively impacts the consultants. So the consultants now have to compete against their own company, essentially, because the company can utilize their own marketing, influencer marketing, you name it. So that way they can purchase at a better deal or rate and and the consultants are kind of left out of it. So it honestly, in my opinion, leaves it to where the people joining is where the main money comes from when it comes to the MLM side, whereas the actual legit product sales are gonna be from other sales avenues. And having it to where you remove the actual sales distributors and the power that they hold and having it to where the products are accessible absolutely everywhere else really defeats the purpose of the idea of an MLM. So it honestly bothers me how they're trying to open it up in other ways because there's really no need for having people in the MLM and it's honestly hurting people more in the long run and not making it as a good, again, not saying it's a good opportunity to begin with, but it's not making it a remote real chance for people to make good, decent sales when people can just quickly purchase. Like for example, it's easier if I wanna go and buy something off Amazon, push and I'm done. If I have to go talk to someone and discuss someone specifically with the items I wanna get and still get messages from them weeks after my purchase, I don't wanna deal with that. I'd rather b- push a button and buy. That's the problem that we're running into. Nonetheless though, let's talk about how to get started pricing, et cetera. So if we actually look at the website, it says it could be around $249 to get started with their pro pack. I tried to see if I can get a lower pack. I personally couldn't try and do that. So it looks like it's only $249. It comes with some sex toys and lubes and just a a sexual wellness certification program, which I'm very interested on what that actually entails. Order forms and catalogs. So it has a decent amount of things that you can get, which is not a horrible price for a decent amount of sex toys and then lubes. I think it's actually pretty good if you're getting a a decent amount of stuff. But again, doing that, you also can additionally purchase other packs. You can have an entire lube pack or you can also have a bunch of toys.
employees, which you can purchase as inventory. So they do have an option for inventory and they market it off to you as a more affordable way if you purchase it now, which the sad thing is, is many people who purchase those packs are down in the negative by a lot. And that actually could range from several hundreds of dollars just from purchasing an inventory pack. But this is an MLM that promotes the parties. So you were able to host parties and sell, which that's why I believe the inventory stuff is very interesting for people because people can just purchase it then and go. But that's a huge risk for a lot of people because not a lot of people make money in MLMs. So you could be down hundreds of dollars if this does not go well. According to the statistics, it won't. Now let's go into the income disclosure statement because I wanna talk about the income opportunity. So this is a great way of talking about how much people are actually making in the companies. The income disclosure statement is essentially a yearly little output that they can show, showing, hey, look at all the people in our company, look at the people at each ring, and look at how much money they're making. And it gives us a good visual of what to expect. Now, I would like to say, if a company that you're looking at does not have an income disclosure statement, that's a huge red flag, okay? They are not legally required to, but for transparency purposes, they should. And so if they're hiding that data from you, I think that's a red flag. Inactive, it shows percentage of partners that are inactive are 33.9%. The average bonus earning was $5. Average total earnings was $62. This is according to 2020. Let's ignore the inactive, okay? Let's just forget about that. Let's move to partner. So if you're partner, it looks like there's 54.2% of individuals who are at this rank. The average bonus earnings was $12 and the average total earnings was $351. Excuse me? Yeah, so let's go to advanced partner. Only 7% of people are at this level. Going on is this $281 was an average bonus earning and then only 1,825 average total earnings, which does not include the starter kit, inventory that you purchase, taxes, and other fees that can be built up, costs simply because you are trying to start this up. So that's a very low amount. Now, remember, majority of participants are in the inactive or partner level, meaning they couldn't make enough sales so they got inactive from what I could see, or their partner, and even if they're working in trying, they're only able, uh, they're only really at the base rank and still not making it up. Lots of people do not even hit these higher up ranks. Let's go to the next one. Senior partner, which is only 2.3% of the company as a whole is at this level. It says 1,233 is the average bonus earning and then $5,850 for average total earning. Now that is not a lot of money at all considering again, taxes, fees, you name it. Now with this compensation plan, I'm kind of going to do a brief just overview of it because I know it's kind of a lot. So from my personal look into this, it doesn't scream pyramid scheme publicly. Now, I would like to say that does not mean a company isn't a pyramid scheme and we are unaware of it. The chances are anything because again, I don't have access to the back office. That's kind of the reality I think of many companies, right? They could have upfront showing us that there's no pyramid scheme activity. We can only make inferences, okay? So from upfront, from what I'm seeing, there's nothing screaming to me that this is a pyramid scheme. So I have a personal belief that MLMs are pyramid schemes. Yes, okay? But according to what I'm being shown, I do not see anything like that. What I will say is they talk about the starter compensation plan and the advanced compensation plan. It shows according to partner level how much you can make. So for example, it says partner, there's not really anything showing, but advanced partner, personal retail sales, a thousand, then team builder bonus, a hundred. You go up to senior partner, thousand five hundred, group retail, two thousand five hundred, and two hundred dollars for team builder bonus. So it looks like though, the more you grow, you're going to need a downline, which is what I have a problem with because in order to kind of make the big money, you need a team and you should be able to be in an MLM, just strictly sell and then that's it. But I think it should show a lot how majority of people in the company are big downline holders right there. So again, I don't see any huge pyramid scheme red flags right now. If there's any data or hidden stuff, send it my way. I've had companies who I didn't think were pyramid schemes at first and then showed me that they were, but I don't think the compensation plan is really showing me that this is gonna work out or change anything because the income disclosure was already showing us that we, ugh, the income is not looking good, okay? <laughs> so let's go into the legal issues because some companies have lawsuits. Now, logical, clear, disclaimer here, just because a company has lawsuits doesn't mean that they're just horrible all the time, okay? Lawsuits don't always mean bad things, but I think it's good to talk about lawsuits and what they mean. Now, this is kind of a really big deal for me that I would like to highlight, and it's, it talks about how the big lawsuit that they had was they accused a former promoter of stealing their business ideas. So she actually made her own sex toy store after leaving the company, allegedly. So there's a, a non, uh, non-compete once you, you technically sign a contract when you join an MLM. That's not really how it's worded, but you're essentially approving to 
their rules. And so with that and joining the company, there was a non-compete that you technically signed on. I think it was for around a year. However, this promoter got out and I think after six months decided to make her own company. So I get the com competition makes sense of how like, oh wait, if she stole an idea, of course that's a problem. However, the biggest thing that I have an issue with is the fact that a huge company like Pure Romance wanted to immediately shit on someone who had a competing comp company. Because if you're stealing something, then that's an issue. But if you're just a competing idea, I don't know why there would be a lawsuit for that because, and I, I know she violated contract technically, but it blows my mind how that is something that they have in a contract. Because if Pure Romance is that good, why would you be so intimidated by a small business becoming a sex shop on their own? Now, this is another example of false income claims on there that I found to be really problematic. This screenshot says, most women who start with Pure Romance are looking to start a small business for that little bit of extra income and earn about 12K a year. Not according to your income disclosure statement. And that is exceptionally, exceptionally false and misleading. This is where I have a problem. It says others strive for a little more supplementary income with a medium business earning around 50K a year. Again, most participants don't make that. That is a very false representation of the company. And the next, others want to take full control of their income with a large business and aim for 100K a year. The good news is that you can choose how you run your business. With Pure Romance, you have an assortment of business tools that can help you achieve your goals and attain the size of business you want. Again, you can want something and see what they have. That doesn't mean it's going to happen. And acting as if it's attainable because you put in all this work is not really honest because the FTC says even people who bust their ass don't hit these numbers. And the income disclosure statement clearly showed that. So to wrap this up, you guys, in my personal opinion, I do not think this company is really making any changes. I think that they're making new definitions because that's a great way of really misinforming people and switching people's perspectives on a company. And people who don't know definitions are going to think that it's a big change, which absolutely, had I not known anything about MLMs, I would be like, oh my God, wow, they're doing something new. That's okay. A lot of people have no idea. At the end of the day though, I would like to just make this very clear. If you have been in an MLM, if you have been in these companies and you feel completely misinformed, you've been lied to, you've had really bad mistreatment, you are not alone. There's so many people who have gone through this and it's a very sad reality. And I really just hope for you to kind of see this video and hopefully you're able to see all the information so you know if you want to join or not. And if you do join, I am hoping at least you can see the red flags and see the information that I showed you. And maybe you're able to get out faster if things go south. At the end of the day, I don't think these companies are ethical. And if you want, by the way, if you want to purchase from a company and you want to get good sex toys, I'm going to recommend several right over here. Okay. These are some of my favorites. I have purchased through many. There's probably some I'm forgetting. Okay. I have purchased through many. I love a lot of these companies. I think they're great. I think they're really good. I have tons of them in my damn closet. I've tried them all out. Okay. I recommend these companies. If you want good products, if you want to try a bunch of different things, have at it, babe. Everyone deserves safe, fun, consenting adult sexual experiences. And I encourage it. So have at it. Okay. If you want to, if you want to spice things up, you want to test the waters, check out these companies. Okay. I personally would recommend avoiding pure romance. And if you want to have a business opportunity or start a business, I encourage you to do your research and do things on your own. Maybe get another side job, but please do not join an MLM because the data and statistics are up against you entirely. And it's a really sad reality. So that was it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. And I will see my beautiful angels in the next video. Bye.